Hey you, today we're going to talk about the Panasonic MSX2 and this Panasonic MSX2 is a, well this one was Japan only and this came out in 1985-1986 and this is the Panasonic FS-A1 model, the most, one of the more well-known Panasonic MSX2 computers, very successful in Japan, the MSX2. Also, other European countries didn't release uh, in the West at all, like in, uh, didn't release in Canada and in the US, so it's very unknown around in the West, but very well-known computer in Japan. Today, we're just gonna take a look here at this Panasonic FS1 and just show some games for it and also the features of this. So let's just begin and get started. So, the, this model came out in 1985, 1986, and it was a successor to the MSX-1, which came out in 1983. The MSX-2 had more RAM in it. Basically, it says right there, RAM is 64 kilobytes, and the VRAM is 128 kilobytes, which was much better than MSX-1. And there was different models. I already showed before, I might redo it again, but I have both this Panasonic model and then I have this Sanyo Wavy, which is also an MSX2. So, and uh, yeah, uh, this one, the only issue with this, I got this last year because I wanted to get this model MSX2. And the issue with this one though, is I need to open this up and fix the keyboard because it's doing ghost typing by itself. So I had to like type, uh, in order fast in order to at least get some commands going but yeah this computer here it has the keyboards here and you can see it's playing salamander right now on the demo and then let's just put up a little bit so and this one again has it has a proprietary power supply which is a big honking mess down there so, uh, and then we have here composite mono. Let's put this down again. Composite mono. And then it has a spot here for RGB, which I have to figure out. I have an RGB cable for this. It's just, it goes to SCART. I don't, most Americans don't have SCART TVs. So, or Canadians either. So Canadians, Americans, we don't really know what the SCART is. Uh, but there's other connections here. If you see, we have RF. This is for, I believe, cassette. This is for the printer. And this is for the second expansion slot for the, for the carts. So this one has the front and it has one here as well. Uh, another models have built-in floppy disk drives, but this is, does not. Here's the port for the one and two. And then... If we take a look here on the bottom, uh, if you can't really see, there's a spot for the battery, uh, what the model is. Sorry, it's really dark. There it is. Panasonic model FS1 made in Japan. And then some other stuff, ventilation here. And then that's really about it for the uh, MSX2. So I have some games for this. Oh, I forgot to show you the joypad. That's what it's called. Not the, not a controller. Joypad, this is MSX model. And then it doesn't have a star. It's just A and B and directional pad. And that's how the back looks. So you can use aftermarket. It has uh, the same nine pin connector as like the Sega Genesis and then uh, uh, the Atari 2600 and the mesh system, but I don't know if it's compatible because uh, I just use this, or I just use this one, that National, which is for the Sanyo Wavy 23. But anyway, let's just take a look here at some games. And we have here Salamander. Uh, let's put up the volume again. So I had to type this one fast because this again, this has like a ghost keyboard. So here's Salamander. Comparable sound to like the NES. Remember the MSX2 had uh, had Metal Gear 
and it was released, I believe, uh, right, or actually before the NES version. So it's kind of choppy though, if you can see the, uh, the frames per second, it's kind of choppy though. So if you played Salamander Man before, it's a, it's a shoot em up. But yeah, since there's issues with this, the keyboard, I need to use it and, oh geez. And I just used my Sanyo Wavy one more. I just gotta get this fixed, but it is one of the more well-known MSX2 computers. If you know about MSX, it was actually made by Microsoft, like the, the standard Microsoft Japan. Bill Gates wanted to get into Japan. And ironically, to these days, that the Xbox is having trouble getting into Japan. Uh, like the Xbox Series X, original 360, Xbox One, it hasn't really performed well, but this MSX performed well in Japan. So, okay, so we have this flash card, but again, see, I'll just show you. I press reset here. Actually, there is no reset. Why is there no reset button? Oh, pause, let's pause. Where's the reset button? The Shanyo Wavy has it, but I don't have one in the Panasonic. So, okay. So this is the MSX screen, and this is the mapper, which has all the ROMs and stuff in it. So what you gotta do is like press really fast, watch. So you have to go to basic, F8, and then I had to press SR so fast. SR, watch. Oh, yeah, I did it. See, I already did it. If you kept going, you would see, like, continuous. Okay, see, it automatically selects. I don't know this game, but we'll find out what it is. Okay. Well, let's see what this game is. What game is this? This is USAS? Interesting. Huh. First time I play this game. Oh, okay. So side scrolling. But yeah, I don't have to worry about. See, it keeps just keeps going. Wait. Oh no, no, that was demo. That was demo mode. Okay. Input keyword. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I don't need to do that. Anyway, that is the mapper. But let's let's try the two games that I actually have. I don't have to worry about typing so fast. Okay, so we get this mapper works fine again in the Sanyo Wavy 23, but not in this because this keyboard has an issue of doing ghost, ghost keying. Okay, so we have Repla, Replicant, or Repla, uh, whatever. Okay, we have here, this X, and we have Replicart, I think. Replicart. I don't know why it does this. Problem here, the same thing with the ghost because of the keyboard. See, I can't really move anything because it just automatically moves. This thing needs some help. This keyboard thing. Okay. Oh, no, go. Oh, geez. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doesn't respond to my key, my joystick either. What the heck? All right, so it's game over because I can't control this thing. Okay, so let's try this game, Star Blazer. So if anyone knows how to fix the keyboard here in MSX2, a Panasonic model, please let me know in the comment section below. But we're gonna be playing Star Blazer MSX1 game. Well, I'm moving. I'm not even firing, I'm just going up and down. 
kind of a boring game to say the least, but no music either. But the MSX, yeah, if you find MSX, if you want to look for an MSX, you should get the second model because at least it's backwards compatible with the first, with the first MSX, so you can play both MSX1 and MSX2 games. And be sure to try to get a flash card because these games are impossible to find. Even in Yahoo auctions, it's expensive. So, yeah. Boom. Oh, okay, what works better here? Why can't I bomb? If I want to do some gameplay in the future for MSX2 games, I'm going to fix this or I'm going to use my Sanyo Wavy 23. Anyway, just wanted to show you some gameplay of this system that was left in Japan, mostly left in Japan, the Panasonic Personal Computer FS-A1 MSX2. So again, yeah, if you wanted to collect for MSX2, you should you know, get this either on Yahoo Auction Japan or try to find someone who can buy it for you and then ship it back to you like a friend relative because it's expensive on eBay for this so anyway thanks again and take care until next video